with TIA Portal version 17, the first graphical program editor for TIA Portal, which is called Cematic Step 7 CFC, is integrated. In this video, I am showing you the basic functions of the editor. It uses pre configured blocks for the program creation. The editor lets you insert blocks into function charts, assign block parameters, and interconnect blocks. The chart is like some kind of drawing board. You interconnect the block inputs and outputs via a mouse click. There is no need to consider details, such as the handling of internal dbs or markers and their comments. In other words, you can fully concentrate on the technological aspects of your configuration. To sum it up, with Cematic Step 7 CFC, you will increase the efficiency of your engineering, provide excellent readable code and use the editor together with all the advantages of TIA Portal. But without further ado, let us experience and explore the new CFC version 17 in TIA Portal. Let us begin by adding a CFC chart. This can be done by selecting Add New Chart. To add logic, open it and use functions from the instruction window on the right side. CFC offers a wide range of system functions, which are well known from other programming languages. Just drag and drop the selected function to the chart and connect the blocks with each other. One chart can contain several partitions, each of them having up to six pages, where you can store your logic in. Let me quickly show you how easy it is to connect blocks from different charts or partitions with each other in CFC. To open the same chart in a second window, select the suitable symbol and then use the TIA portal option to split the editor space vertically to see both charts next to each other. In the next step, navigate in both windows to the desired partition and block and then you can set the connection between the blocks. This is just as easy as it gets. Connecting two different charts with each other works the same way. Programming the code is one important part, but following and reading the code is another. Following sig notes is easy as pie. In my example, I have already set a connection from a block in chart 1 to a block in chart 2. Double click the output signal and as a result the system opens the chart 2 and jumps to the correct position. In CFC, the run sequence is displayed on top of every block. To activate this view, click on the corresponding icon. To edit the position, change to the control flow and then drag and drop the block to the requested position. Beside of that, every maintainable program requires proper comments and notes. For this, CFC version 17 offers large comment boxes that can be customized. Furthermore, you can even add pictures in those comment boxes to visualize the process. This supports an effective implementation and maintenance for the engineering and operation staff. Structuring the program is also highly important. For this, CFC offers the usage of groups for the charts. Another way to structure and reuse already existing charts within CFC is the feature of Chart and Chart. Let me quickly demonstrate this. We take a chart and add some logic you want to reuse and connect signals to inputs and outputs of the block interface. Then open another CFC chart and drag and drop the chart with the reusable logic into it two times. As you can see, the result are two blocks that can now be connected with different inputs. My block in this example will divide the input by two and negate the result. To improve the traceability of the programmed logic code, you can jump directly into the block by a simple double click. 
This helps to identify problems that are located within the created chart in Chart Block. Now let us continue with two of my favorite features. The first one is that you can use individual created logic blocks within the CFC. This saves a ton of time by using already existing knowledge. Let me show you how to do this. I have already prepared the block My Complex Alarm that is already compiled. The function block contains an instance of the program alarm in the static memory area. Now we can drag and drop the block to the CFC chart. Finished! Of course, after improving the logic of the block, an update is possible. For this, we add an extra input and compile it. To conclude, go to the Chart Sequence and Extras and navigate to the block types. There, you have the option to execute an update. As a result, the new input is added. The second feature is that you can configure alarm messages directly at the block instance in the CFC chart. For this you must add a program alarm instance to your function block. This is already done in the function block we have added before. In the CFC chart, select the properties of the block and change the text of the alarm message. That is super easy, isn't it? As we have completed the user program, I will show you how the CFC looks like when you go online on the controller. The initial download requires a complete software download that includes a PLC stop. Smaller changes can be downloaded while the PLC is still in run. I have already executed the initial download. I just have to go online. CFC offers the option to select specific values that should be observed. This avoids unintended increases of communication load on the controller. In the testing phase, however, it is more important to observe all values. To solve this issue, CFC connectors can handle a multi-select. To change several connectors at the same time, Go to the control flow and select all required connectors. The testing phase is not limited to only observing values. By setting the option to force values, the user can even force inputs to blocks that have a connection. But note, the activation of forcing requires a software delta download. I will show you this in the simple example of a block that is used for a double integer division. Just type in a new value and look at the output of the div block. The dividend IN1 is not connected and as you can see only a simple forcing is activated. The divisor IN2 is connected to a fixed dB signal with the value of 1 as you can see on the block terminal. The connection to this global DB signal that is located in the normal user program shows that CFC gives the user the possibility to interact with other program languages, especially Graph S7. To force the connected input of IN2, you have to select the properties of the input and change the force value. This is nice as you do not have to remove the connection of the input. In addition to that, CFC has a built-in trace for a first analysis of signals. To use the feature, add a new trend display and open it. Then drag and drop the signal from the CFC to the trend view. The result is that you have a trend of the signal right away. 
Of course, a connection from CFC blocks to the HMI and to OPC UA is possible too. To sum it up, the continuous function chart integrated into TIA Portal version 17 will give you a lot of more options to design your programs and helps you to increase the efficiency of your engineering with TIA Portal. For all users that know the CFC from the technological software package D7Sys, Siemens offers a migration support to convert the complex technological programs into the TIA Portal ecosystem.